Hey everyone, today we're going to review the online homeowner tool, which will allow anyone to log in, um, design a closet, and possibly purchase uh, through online. Um, so you'll probably come to a page like this. This is just a demo page, but it'll look similar to this with a login on the left and a new user registration on the right. Um, if you've been here before, then you can just log in with your email and password that you signed up with. Uh, otherwise, on the right side, we just need a name, uh, email, phone number, and then password. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. I'll create a new account. Then immediately when you get in here, uh, you can see we have no designs found and nothing in our purchase history because it's a new account. So if we come over to this top right, we now have start new design. In here we have some uh, default selections that can be changed later, but this is just what we'll start with. So let's go with antique white. Uh, we'll do a round black rod. Uh, we'll keep it on the floor for now. Um, and do shared panels. So down here we have reach in, walk in, or custom for our layout. The reach in will just ask for one wall. This it would be the back wall over here. Uh, the walk in is a standard five wall design. Uh, and we just ask for the front left, left wall, and so forth. So you can just put in the measurements and hit submit. And then the custom uh, allows you to draw your own layout. So we're going to choose that one just to step through that. And here are some defaults. If you have the ceiling height, you can put that in. Top shelf default height is um, where your units will go to, like where your design, will, the top shelf will be. And then unit depth is the depth of these. And these are in inches. Um, so 84 and 14 are pretty standard. We'll just stay with that. Now we get to the layout page. Um, and if you scroll down, there's a video as well as some tips on um, using this layout page in the software. And then also right here, this uh, link for closet design guidelines is some um, tips for measuring your room. Uh, so like best practices kind of. So if I come up here, we're going to start in the bottom left, and I'm just going to click to place a corner, and then click again, click again, and we can just go around the room placing our walls. If you mess something up, like say we don't want this corner here, we can come up and hit this undo button, and that just gets rid of the last vertex that we dropped. So I'm just going to make this a standard five wall room. And then once we're done uh, placing our uh, our corners, you can either hit this finish drawing or hit the escape button. And that will solidify this layout for us. And then you have access to these values over on this right side. So you don't need to worry about what they're showing when we first put them in. Um, it's just later on we can because we can just overwrite them here. So I'm just going to put in some clean numbers here. And then we hit update measurements. You can see they all flush out to those nice even numbers I put in. If um, you don't like this uh, layout, you can always just hit the reset layout, and that's going to get rid of all your corners, and you can start from scratch. Uh, we're going to say we're good with this. And now here we get to decide where we want to place units in this room. So if I click all for wall 3, it then populates all of wall 3. And then say I want to do fill for wall 2 and 4. And what's that? what that's saying is... The fill is putting in units as far as possible up to a point where there's room left to get into the corner on wall 3. So wall 3 is using all of the wall, and wall 2 and 4 are just filling as much as possible with still leaving room to get into that corner. And you can play around with these. So if I choose all for wall 2 and all for wall 4, they then take all of their wall and shorten the um, space for wall 3 to desi design in. Say we're good with that. Um, and we'll hit continue. And so we immediately come into a pre-filled closet. Um, you can see our overhead here just showing the setup of the units. Each wall here um, and the units they loaded in with. And if we want to get into these units, we can go click on this link down here, the, this green hyperlink. So go into wall 3. And say I want um, a drawer a drawer unit in this middle area. So the way to edit these units is I can scroll over and do swap unit. And then under here is our catalog. So we can see what units are available, shelving, footwear, 
baskets, all this stuff that you can choose from. But we're going to just do a drawer stack. And then say um, we want to put uh, this hangbar full. So we can come over and copy this, and we're going to put it over on unit 1. So to copy, just scroll over to unit 3, hit this copy button, and come over to unit 1 and paste that there. Um, say we want to edit one of these units. We can come in and click this edit unit. And this will give us access to heights, uh, the depth of it, uh, if we want to put backing on it. Uh, we can put it on the wall if we want, and then we can change the width. So say we want to drop this to 20 wide. So now we have extra room, and say uh, we'll just put it back up. We'll put it on this drawer unit so that we use up the whole wall. If I go back to the view all walls down in this bottom left, from here we can make some uh, global decisions for the closet over on the right side. So we can change the color. So go to white. And you can see the price is immediately changing up here with the change of color. So if I go to maple, we'll see that that price change down to 2900. Um, some other things in this right side is uh, finish. So that will, if we change this, say we change it to uh, brass, this is going to change the rods and the handles in our design. So I'll just click in here to see. You can see those are now brass. Uh, we can change our rods individually if we want without changing the, the handles on the drawers. Uh, and we also have drawer style. So let me go over to our wall 3 where we have a drawer. If I come in here and say we want to do square raised panel. Click that. And you can see now the, the style on this has changed. Uh, we have some other things over here, like switching between wall and floor. Uh, if you want to save some uh, material or money on material, we can sw swap to the wall. So we get rid of our, our toe kicks and use a little less uh, material here. You can double pounds, put crown, base. There's a slew of tools on this right side to help you. Um, some tools are disabled and they'll have this please email us or call us link um, and then along with that up here we have this need help tab so if I click this need help this pulls up um, the phone number for the company you're purchasing from their support email uh, put in a support ticket that will go to their support email and then um, training and help videos that are provided by the software so that would just go to their YouTube page um, say we're happy with this so far. Let's uh, view this in 3D. So we click this view all walls in 3D. And so we come in and we see our design here. We have two walls in front of us. So we want to turn those off. We can go right here, wall 1 and wall 5, and click uncheck these. And then in the top right, we can refresh view. Um, over on this left side, we have how to navigate in this room. So on a keyboard, W is to move forward, S backwards, and then A and D are to so go sideways. So let's come in here. And then if you left click and drag, it lets you move your head. So you can move around in here. And then we can also put close on here by checking the show close and refreshing the view again. And the close will automatically load in. So let's return to the build tool. and then go back to our view all walls. So we have our design here. Um, some other things that are up in this top uh, border, other, si other than the need help, we have this about, which will be company information based on who you're buying from. Uh, then we have this design tool, which is a lot of your um, login information. So you have the, your edit account, change password, and then we also have the links to the help videos and the email support button. Um, as well as logging out if you want. So let's go back to our designs. So now we have our design listed here. You can see the uh, MSRP is 2580. Uh, we're getting a discount, so the price we would pay is 2300 for this one. Uh, so say we want to go ahead and buy this. Let's add it to the cart. 
So you can see it gets moved up here, and then we can go on and purchase. So say we're ready to purchase. Uh, here's a terms and conditions page. So we just need to put in our initials for these small boxes on the left, and then let's put in our full name for an electronic signature, and then we hit uh, accept and pay with credit card. And here you just put in your information, and this will be securely processed and sent to uh, the company you're purchasing from. Um, we don't currently have a uh, th this active on this demo site, so um, but you'd purchase this and get an email receipt uh, with a uh, with your um, terms and conditions on there with your electronic signature. So it's just back out of here so that we can go back to the design stuff. Um, so if I come in and say we want to put something else on the cart, we can put multiple designs in here. So let's do that. I'll just start a new design real quick. Let's do it in white, and we'll just do a quick region. So let's put in a 90-inch wall, hit Submit. This now brings us right into this 90-inch wall. Um, we can make any changes again from over here anything we want to do, but say we're done with this, let's just finish design. Um, you can see this one is still up here, so let's uh, put that back in the cart, and then we're going to put that design that we just did in the cart. So now we have two designs on here, they're getting totaled up with their discounts, and so our total would be thirty-two ninety-four. And from there we can just hit purchase again, head back, and fill these out. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, this Need Help tab would be the best location. You can get uh, the direct contacts for who's supporting the system. Um, and then uh, you also have the, the videos right here that can help you out. So if you have any questions, always feel free to reach out. And um, thanks for joining in.